Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video is going to be on my all-time favorite skincare products. I get so many questions about my skin constantly, and I always tell people that I have the same skincare routine, but I figured I would kind of do a more in-depth video of all the products that I do use. Like I said, I do have a routine where I show you all these products in action. I'll leave it linked below. It's from a few months ago, like August or September, but I literally do the same exact thing morning and night, but today I just, I'm going to kind of talk about the products a little bit more in depth and just a couple extra things that I use, like facial masks and pore strips and stuff like that. So hopefully it is helpful. Um, please also keep in mind that just because a skincare product works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Um, skincare is one of those really sticky subjects because everybody has different skin types, so it's all about trial and error. I've tried a lot of different things and these are just the products that currently work for me. A lot of these I've been using them for a while and I love them. So yeah, I hope you guys still like it. Hopefully it is helpful. And if you want to see my favorite skincare products, then let's get started. So a little bit about my skin. I have combo skin at the moment. Um, I used to be super oily. Sometimes I get really dry. It just really depends. Like right now my skin feels very dry. Um, I woke up this morning and it was like peeling on my nose and on my chin area. So it really just depends. But for the most part, combo skin. And my goal for this year is definitely to invest a little bit more in my skincare routine. Because although I love these products, I think it's important to always invest in your skin because you only get one face and it's super important to take care of it. So not that I'm like old or aging or anything, but still. So anyways, I'm going to kind of go in order in the order in which I would take off my makeup and all that. So first to take off my makeup, my favorite, favorite wipes are the Parent Choice Baby Wipes. I like baby wipes because they really work. These are so good. I used to use a brand from Aldi. I forget what it was called. It was like the Lulla Babies baby wipes. I think that's what they were called. And they changed the formula. So when I saw that they changed the formula, I went out to the drugstore and I just picked up baby wipes because for a long time, when I first started getting into makeup, I used to use the Neutrogena wipes and the uh, Pond's makeup remover wipes and they were just really irritating on my skin. Like they burned my face whenever I took off my makeup and they irritated my eyes. So then I went to baby wipes because I found that they did the same thing. I got more for my money and they were very gentle and they got the job done. So I always pick the fragrance free kind for my face just because I don't really want anything with like odor and stuff. Not odor. I don't really want anything with a smell on my face because I don't want it to get irritated. I do get sensitive skin at times. So I love these. I get a big pack at Walmart and they work really good. My favorite way to take off my makeup has been with the micellar cleansing water. I just bought this big bottle. This was actually sent to me a few months back from in a PR package and I actually loved it so much that I went out and I bought it myself because this is so good to take off your makeup like heavy eye makeup, light makeup, face makeup like no matter how thick your foundation feels this literally will wipe it off when you take a wipe. It's amazing. I wanted to also mention coconut oil. I used to use coconut oil all the time and I still really like it for my hair and everything. It has so many benefits. If you don't know the benefits of coconut oil, just Google it. You'll see so many different things, but I really like it for removing eye makeup as well, but I don't like coconut oil anymore for removing my face makeup because I feel like since it's an oil, it's just bound to clog pores and just make you break out. I don't really like to put oils like this on my face, so that's why I prefer the micellar water, but I really do like coconut oil for that, but I prefer the micellar water because I can kind of do my eyes and my face makeup all at once and I don't have to kind of use two different products. So I prefer this, but I still love coconut oil. I just wanted to throw that in here. Okay, then to go ahead and wash my face, my cleanser is the Biore Free Your Pores Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. I also really like the baking soda one. I've been using Biore for such a long time. Um, I used to use it in high school. In high school, I used Clean and Clear and Biore. Those are like my two top brands for skincare that really works for me. It's so nice on my skin. It makes it feel so fresh and minty and I'm just obsessed with it. To be honest though, I feel like it doesn't really matter what cleanser you use as long as you have a Clarisonic or just something like this. I just got water all over me from this. I was just using this this morning, but I have the Clarisonic Mia Fit and I absolutely love this, you guys. I swear by the Clarisonic. Like, uh, I just have nothing bad to say about it. It is absolutely amazing. I've been using the Clarisonic at this point for like three years and it's seriously the best part of my skincare routine. I used to have the Mia 2, which actually I still have it. I love that one. And the Mia Fit was actually sent to me by Clarisonic, which I thought was amazing because the fact that they even knew who I was, it was just mind blowing because I've been using the Clarisonic, like I said, for such a long time. So I think it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, the Mia 2 and the Mia Fit, they both come with two speed settings. This one is just smaller. 
Um, it's more compact, so it really just depends on your personal preference which one you want to get. But regardless, the Clarisonic in general is amazing for your skin. I use it in the morning and at night, and I truly feel like I can just see a difference in my skin. Like when I started using this, I just noticed my face kind of like transformed. Of course, I break out when I'm stressed, when I get my period, stuff like that, but I feel like this really reduces my acne. So loving this. And I know that buying the brush heads, because you have to replace them every three months, can be such a hassle, but check out Amazon, because I bought these back in December. Um, the Sonic brush heads, I think that's what they're called. They're basically like the dupes for the Clarisonic brush heads, and they work just as good. If I can find the link to where I got them, I'll leave them down below, but I'm sure if you go on Amazon and you look it up, it should pop up. So definitely check it out, because the replaceables are super cheap, so once you buy the Clarisonic, it's a big investment, but then the replaceables are affordable, and then it's just a really great investment for your skincare. I, I swear by the Clarisonic. Next up for toner, my favorite toner in the entire world is the Thayer's Alcohol-Free Cucumber Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel is so good for your skin, especially if you have scarring or acne. I used to have a lot of acne scarring on my cheeks, and I feel like when I started using this, it really reduced it. Like I said, I still break out, I'm not perfect, but this is just a game changer. It says, Witch Hazel helps tighten pores and smooth and beautify the skin, and I totally agree with this. This is, like, so good. They also have a rose petal one, which I love, but that one's always sold out when I go um, to the store to get it. You can get this at GNC. So I always get the cucumber one, which I also really like. So, yeah, GNC or Amazon, it's the best toner I've ever tried. It doesn't irritate my skin, and I used to actually use, like, regular Witch Hazel that you can get at, like, Walmart or CVS, but that dried out my skin so much because there's so much alcohol in it. So so definitely if you're using a toner make sure that you're getting one with no alcohol because alcohol is not good for your skin okay after I tone my face I like to moisturize my all-time favorite moisturizer is the Clinique moisture surge intense serum it's a skin fortifying hydrator and it's a gel cream formula you guys this moisturizer is everything to me like I literally ran out of it I just bought a new one yesterday but I have nothing left like this is the best moisturizer I have ever tried I've used a lot of different moisturizers um, especially from the drugstore and I always go back to this one I know it's pricey but it lasts such a long time and it really hydrates my skin without leaving it oily So you could use this before your makeup and then apply your makeup and it just looks beautiful it doesn't look like greasy or anything on the face so it's really just such a great moisturizer a little bit goes a long way so it's it is again in a little bit of an investment but it's gonna last you a couple of months which is so great so once I oh I also wanted to quickly mention uh, eye creams please tell me of some good eye creams I have dark circles I have fine lines and I have huge bags underneath my eyes I wish there was something that could get rid of bags like that shadow over here I'm so self-conscious about it I hate when I see it in my videos I hate hate my under eye bags so I'm currently using the Olay eyes ultimate eye cream um, it looks like this. You can get it at any drugstore. I personally don't really like love this. It's not super hydrating and I don't really see a big difference um, when I use this. Please let me know of something good. Like I have tried so many high-end and drugstore eye creams and just nothing impresses me or I feel like really works for my eyes. So please help a girl out. <laughs> okay, so after I moisturize my skin, I always go in with a facial spray. This is the Mario Badescu. I never know how to pronounce it. Uh, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Water. basically what this is it's just a hydrating spray it just gives your skin extra hydration I love this after moisturizing my face because it really just refreshes it I feel like it makes my skin look like really pretty and just super glowy and fresh it doesn't have any shimmer or anything in it but it just hydrates your face so much that it looks like you're glowing from within so this is like I said the one with rose water in it I have been using this for so long you could use this even to like if your face ever looks cakey to kind of like hydrate your face but I don't really feel like this is a setting spray like it doesn't make my makeup last any longer or anything like that I, that's why I specifically just like it for my skincare because that's how I like it best if you don't like the smell of roses because I know some people don't definitely try this one out that it's like a new one that they came out with I just hauled this in my Ulta haul um, this is the facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea you guys this smells divine like oh my goodness you guys have to try this one it is amazing I love the way it smells it's so fresh and clean on the face and it basically does the same thing as this one the rose water one it's just I think the scents are just different in my opinion so love both of these I've been using them like back and forth like one in the morning one at night because I love them both so much and I cannot live without them like this is probably my second favorite thing to do when it comes to my skincare because it's just so refreshing. Okay, so that is my basic skincare, like my cleanser, my moisturizer, that's all I do in the morning and at night. 
So now moving into my favorite pore strips. Um, I don't really have a lot of experience with pore strips to be honest, but I like these. I feel like they work. Um, these are the Biore Free Your Pores Deep Cleaning Pore Strips. Now I don't have super large pores, but whenever I feel like I just need something for my face, like if I start to see like texture or like blackheads, I'll go in with these like on my chin and on my nose and I feel like it kind of reduces it a bit. It doesn't completely take them away. It's not like a miracle. Ah! not like a miracle worker but it gets the job done for like the meantime you know so it says it instantly unclogs pores removing dirt oil and blackheads I really do believe that these work but you have to be consistent with things like this you can't use it once and then expect it to like work overnight you know what I mean so I like to do these maybe like once or twice a week if I remember sometimes I do forget but like I said whenever I feel like my skin is just like like it really needs it I'll go in with these and I really really like them okay now moving into facial masks I love masks I've tried so many again drugstore high-end I really like a lot of them um, but the ones that I always always go back to that I've been using since I was in high school are the Freeman feeling beautiful masks and they are such good masks I really like them because they really cater to different skin types so if you have super oily skin and you want to unclog your pores or you want to hydrate whatever the case may be there's so many and I really really like them and the deep charcoal one from Freeman is one of my all-time favorites because whenever I feel like I have texture on my face or it just feels rough and it doesn't look pretty I'll go in with that and ugh, it's amazing like I really see a difference in my skin it just feels smoother looks softer and everything just applies so much better like your makeup the next day when you have a mask on the night before it just goes on so much more smoother and like more flawless so obsessed another mask I want to talk about is this one by L'Oreal I've been loving this I feel like again with masks you really have to be consistent you can't just use one mask one night and then the next day expect your skin to be like completely brand new it takes time and you have to be like consistent I would say like two times a week um, try and do a mask um, that's what I like to typically do if I remember because like I said I just noticed such a difference with my makeup and just with my skin in general so this one is the pure clay mask from L'Oreal you guys this is amazing it really I feel like transforms your face like it just makes it look like a baby's butt I've been using this for a little while a couple of months and I really love it it says it exfoliates and refines pores it has three pure clays and red algae so as you can see it's like literally an orangey red it looks like really scary when you have it on but oh, I love it so much and it really makes my skin feel super nice. It has a really nice smell to it as well. This was actually sent to me. I always get packages from L'Oreal, like PR packages, and they sent me a bunch of different masks. I, this one just intrigued me the most because it says exfoliates and with pores. Anything that says exfoliates and refines pores, I'm like, uh, give it to me. All right, guys, so that is it for my skincare products, my all-time holy grails. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know of your favorite skincare products down below. Like I said, I really want to expand my horizons this year and try out new products, so please let me know of your favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.